Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D warp uh, effect image uh, in the designing package of the Embroidery Studio E4.0. I'm going to navigate, I'm just going to go in, uh, I'm going to navigate here and I'm going to just select the closed shape feature inside the program and I'm going to start in the center by left clicking and I'm just going to do a circle. I'm going to pull this out, click and I'm going to press enter to fill this in. It doesn't have to be a uh, complete uh, tatami fill right off the bat uh, because it, al it, al it already is a closed shape. The 3D warp feature will recognize that. Currently uh, here's a 3D warp icon. As soon as I click my select tool um, as you can see, once it's selected, the 3D warp is still unavailable because it's grayed out. You will have to go in. I'm just going to navigate to my effects here and I'm going to choose Motif Fill. As I left click, it's going to change the pattern to a Motif Fill pattern. And as soon as I do that, you'll see the 3D warp feature inside the program is now uh, selected here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and as soon as I left click on a 3D warp, it's going to take me into the special effects. You'll know that because you'll see the FX here on the bottom of the screen for the special effects. The first option that we have here for 3D warp as it is selected, we have two other options. As I click the little arrow going down, we have a, the first one that you see on the screen is the globe out effect. The second one here is going to be the globe in effect, and that's what this one looks like here. The third feature in the 3D warp would be the perspective. This is what the perspective looks like. Okay, And again, as I go back and as I select the globe out effect, uh, the nice thing that you can do with these fills is you can actually go in, I'm going to change the color of it. And the cool thing about these is you can do a nice uh, golf ball effect with these. You can uh, click on your simple offset tool. You can go in and you can do a a border around the outside of this as well, like you see here. And you can also go in and select. I'm going to do a Control D to duplicate this. Slide this up here in my color object list, and I'm going to go back in. I can change the effect to a different effect and change the color with it also. So you can go in and do different things uh, like you see here with this one, as well as going in and clicking on my motif fill patterns here under object properties. And you could also go in with your different types of layouts and you can change the layouts of these also by just going in and selecting the different layout patterns for this, creating multiple uh, objects, basically stitching on top of one another in a running stitch pattern. Okay. And again, all I had to do was go in and click on the motif fill patterns, which opened up my properties and I was able to click on uh, the layouts and all the layouts here that are available here. I can actually go in and use any of these particular layouts here to add to my object that's already on the screen like you see here. Okay, And that is how you use the 3D warp and how you can uh, mix uh, separate objects with it on the screen. I want to thank you for joining me and as always we ask that you visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you.